This tutorial is going to teach you how to use templates in Microsoft Word 2013. Uh, these principles can be utilized for older versions of Word as well, but uh, I'm going to be using 2013 since it's the most uh, modern version of the software uh, when I made this video. To start out, we're going to start with just a, uh, by opening up the application itself, and we have it right here. And then you simply come up to File and click on New. When you do that, you have the ability to create a blank document, which if we did right there, just creates what you would traditionally see. We'll get out of that by clicking on Control W, because we want to create a template. So click on New, and as you can see, there is a full list of some nice looking templates to choose from. Uh, you also can uh, come up here to filter it, so say that you want to do resumes. It will search through the entire list of the potential resume uh, items that Microsoft has. And as you can see, it pulls them all up right here. So this gives you a really nice way to uh, find some great templates. And uh, these are all free and very easy to use. Uh, we're going to go back, click New again. And we're actually going to create a newsletter. So select newsletter right here, click on it one time, and this uh, will come up. You can click on these icons to be able to go and see what the whole newsletter looks like. And then just click create, and here it is. So you can see I have now a great looking template to work from, and you have the ability to change literally anything on here. So you can come in and make it look like it's yours. So I'm going to come up here and I work for a oil company. So I'm going to uh, say the Energy News Monthly, Volume 1, Issue 1. I'll keep that the same. And you could put any text you want anywhere here. You can see it has some really nice styling options. And then it has a great spot for images already built in. Uh, what we can do is click on it one time and right click then and as you can see of the ability to do a lot of things it's gonna be pretty rare I'm assuming that you'd want to use the stock image they have so you can come here and click change picture and then you select where you want it from uh, you could do it from their clip art section from Bing image search from your SkyDrive if you have one uh, I'm gonna select my own file system so click here and click browse and it pulls up my full list of images right here and I'm gonna click this one hit insert and uh, this image if you're to open up normally is a very large file and so what Microsoft does is it actually shrinks that down automatically to fill in the space that's right there and so it, it does all the formatting for you automatically um, and then you know you can come up to uh, right here and get rid of that caption completely since I'm not going to use that uh, all of these different things can be changed uh, obviously this is a quote uh, that we wouldn't be using and so you can say here if this was a safety newsletter you can do safety is important which it is and give whatever type of uh, whoever had that quote so in this case we'll give it to John Smith and you can also add different things so this one already has obviously a company name and recipient name and those kind of things built into it uh, but you can do uh, things such as adding footers so say this was going to be a longer newsletter you could come up and uh, go up to insert and click on uh, either footer or page number, we'll go on page number, go bottom of the page and then add a accent bar and now you can see that your newsletter has an accent bar with uh, with this footer and an auto calculating uh, page counter and you could always uh, come in and edit the footer uh, insert footer click edit footer and now you can go in and edit it so we can keep that there but we'll come over here and uh, 
one uh, called this Energy News Monthly. And go here. And to style it, we'll change that. Give it a different color, some to kind of match the rest of it. And then change the font. Go with Arial. Double click out. And now you can see that we've added a uh, footer that goes throughout the entire thing. So these templates are a great start. They can maybe even give you some ideas uh, to initially start building your project. And then you can use your own creativity to start building it from there.